world's first bulletproof supercar. halfway across the country is not much fun. I think we found the spot. I see supercars, that's always a good sign. We got a lineup of cars, we're at Mechatronic. Have a look at, uh, have a look at the old girl. Check this out, he's got another LP 640 sitting right here. Black one. Obviously, yeah, yeah, E-gear. She sounds a bit rough, guys. Hopefully we can fix her. Don't pace me, you son of a <laughs> I know. I know your speed. I've been pacing you for two miles. Oh, look at that. Engine out at Entador. Surprise, surprise. Any V12. They're probably changing the windshield wipers. That's why they take an engine out. That's the running joke of any Lamborghini V12. Engine out for everything. That's out of this one, guys. Nice. Size of this thing is an airplane. This is a fighter jet, right? Yeah. Look at this. You, re you didn't realize how big they were? Oh. All right, let's try to figure out what's wrong with my piece of shit. Go for a quick drive with it and see what, what it's gonna do. Let's see what this thing's doing now. So it's apparently like a sensor issue. One of them being um, the throttle position sensor. When I hit the throttle, there was always sometimes a delay in the response. These cars are finicky and I haven't had it all that long. So I'm still learning it, you guys. So far, so good. No engine lights. Only been driving for two minutes, but you know you're a Mercy owner when you're happy about that. Well, that was refreshing. We in Toronto. The we came to see you, oh, bro. Yeah. We, came to you. we came to see you, man. Surprise. Of course. Of course. Surprise. Your family set this up for you. 100%. So we just ran into each other at the intersection. He yells at us. I watch the vlogs all the time. He yelled something after that was that caught, caught my ear right away. So we are one of the largest bulletproof armored vehicle manufacturings in the world. <laughs> In the world? In the world. Bulletproof the Squadra? Where is it? Over there behind that. Dave's got all sorts of stalkers. <laughs> For real. I didn't get any creepy stalkers out of the deal. I got all the love from the fans, but Dave's got some creeps. Like, you want to go? got me following you from the intersection. <laughs> yeah, that's all, you seem normal for now. When you bulletproof something, how much weight on average does it add? When you turn 30, how much weight did you add? <laughs> well, listen, like a couple tons, depending on the a actual- A couple tons? It's the world's first bulletproof supercar. There's Damon staying behind. And right now, Damon's currently contemplating his life. If you can fix the AC, go. <laughs> go fix the AC. If you can make the seat more uncomfortable, do that. Turn the heat, the heat's always a little bit on. Regardless of the button, the heat's always just pulsing. Back, which is not a bad it's thing. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. But we are still uncertain as to why. I smell gas. Do you smell gas? I smell it more now, do you? Yeah. It's never a good thing with the mercy. What's uh, up? Yo! YouTube every single day. Every single day. Yeah, every single day. No, every single day. No, All of you. Only me, not Dave. Both of you, man. <laughs> I want to give you a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. How are you, man? Good, how are you? Hugging, it, you hugging it out with the fans, man. How you doing? You guys, I have my favorite fan. Hey. My favorite man. Hey, I love you, you guys so much, thank man. You. I want to say hi. Hey, Damon. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Hey, yeah, this door's so heavy. You just have no muscles. <laughs> yeah, check the uh, air conditioning and see if you can fix it. Oh, dude. This thing is so. Oh, air conditioning. Oh. You're going to give me a check engine light. Fuck it off. <laughs> dude, what's going on with this? Oh, I have those little kids on there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's over the curb. What is happening? This curb too. Oh, we're gonna love him at the gas station. Yeah, yeah. Just pull into the gas station with the burning school bus. Incus. These are the guys that make bulletproof and bombproof vehicles. We gotta get this thing bulletproofed. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You ready? Not really. <laughs> so we can bulletproof. Anything, right? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. And you go, you bomb-proof stuff too. Really, when it comes to the certain level of protection. Holy! Sh this place is huge. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a big shop. That's yeah? a big shop. We, when it comes to each level of protection, you, it's, each level is basically protects against a certain range of uh, ammunition, okay. certain type of ammunition, and certain type of grenades and such things. Like grenades. That. We're talking grenades now, guys. Yeah, that's what we call a B7 level armored suburban. So it's higher than what the U.S. military uses on their own. Really? So you're protected against some very top level armored piercing bullets. Armored piercing. That's what Dave needs. I need that. A lot of enemies. A lot yeah. of enemies. Could you take out all the glass on the Squadra Corsa and make the Squadra Corsa bulletproof? Technically, yeah. You want a bulletproof Squadra Corsa? How much Corsa? time does it take? Yeah, let's, like get it let's get it done before the rally. 100%. You never know who Dave's going <laughs> to off on the way. So these are shipped from Japan. Overnight cars from Japan. They're right-hand drive. These are the Toyota Land Cruisers. Land Cruisers. What is this? This is our own model. So this is what we call the Inca Century. Yeah. It's based off of a Ford F550. Uh, it's a Super Duty engine with a 6.2 liter turbo diesel. We get the chassis itself, plus the front cab. The front cab goes off, and we start manufacturing our whole body. That is a door hinge. Yeah. It's the size of my whole hand. So you we're one them? of the first companies to armor and do the whole conversion. They don't sell five Ford 550s in a right-hand drive. That's a right-hand drive. Why, why right-hand drive? Why right-hand drive vehicles? Because the countries that they're going to, they, specific, they only drive right-hand drive. Yeah. These are actually gun ports, so... These are guns so you can shoot out of this. Yeah, so there's going to be a cover on top of that, and you'll be able to literally... That's some next-level stuff. So All right. where is this going? Like this. Uh, yeah. this one I can't really say yet because the contract's not fully finished. You can trust us. There's only 1.7 million people watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No one's watching this video. Saying, this is all the luxury, like German automobiles. We have a G Wagon getting like armory. Brand new G63. And it's getting what? It's getting a full on B6 level armor. So, like I said before, that US military level. This is crazy. Considering we're in Canada, and in Canada, like our gun laws, like no one carries guns here. You not can. like the U. Yeah, you can't. It's not like the U.S. where you can they have like conceal and open carry and all these different terminologies. You cannot own a weapon here, and if you do, you are like squeaky clean. The irony of the fact that here in Canada, you guys are the largest manufacturer in the world of armored vehicles blows my mind. Right? I had no idea. I see the G wagon. What is this? This is a S-Class, -class. so this is yeah. not even like the most powerful S-Class, it's an S-500. So right wow. now, we're, they're just taking apart the whole interior. Oh my god. Dude. And all that wiring is going to go off, they're going to weld the ballistic steel to the whole interior. And basically what you're going to have is a 360 degree protection where no one can shoot at you, you'll be protected. So if you were to put in a bulletproof windshield, how do you like make that big because a windshield on a car like that is like this thing. We have a little fun with it because once it goes out, they like Destroy they have it. just a little piece of metal, and as soon as it touches it, the whole thing just shatters. This is all ballistic steel. The entire cab of the car has been redone. That is seriously nuts. I'm blown away. I know. I want one. Hey, no pun intended. Blown away. Check this out. <laughs> what? In the jam. That's the rifle. Spot? So you have this lip here to protect passengers. So people can't stick a rifle there and try to shoot through? Exactly. So any type of opening, those are the all the weak spots. So we have to close them all. So this vehicle is completed? This, it's pretty much completed. It just finished its testing at the track. So you tested at the track. Testing at the track. Zero to 60 slaloms at like close to 100 kilometers an hour. But I think zero to 60, I mean miles. It's bigger than your skull. That is. It's all finished nice leather. This is yeah, amazing. it's actually soft. This is all leather? This is all leather. Try opening the doors. All right. All right. Oh. Oh. Hey, G Wagon, eat your heart out. That is the heaviest thing I've ever oh felt on a God. vehicle. For your Lamborghinis, right here. Now, hold on. Look at the size of this. All of this. And look how small the drill bit is. Yep. This looks like a torture machine. Dude, lie on that. No. It's a G-Wagon limo that's armored. Look at, the, look at the windows. That's glass. Armored glass. Look how thick that is. Like, look at my hand on the other side. This stuff is so hard, I can't even describe to you. G-Wagon. Madness. They're cutting a brand new G-Wagon in half. Yeah. 
This one? That's the old one. This one? That's the brand new one. Yeah. Wild. Cut it in half, stretch it out. Cut in half. Armor it all. Exactly. So this is the thickness of ballistics glass. So this is what you'd have to put in the squatter corset like for a windshield or something Basically. or anything a, a side window anything hey you want lightweight ballistic glass right there you go that's the lightweight stuff pick that up no that's not real that's real okay you guys we're gonna need that twin turbo quad turbo quadruple turbo my Here's car a stock windshield and look at this there you go there's the difference between uh my god and non so put the windshield into the squadra corsa the armored one this is what you use Yep, so basically what happens is they take they pull these off and they're suction covers cup. up. And there's the suction cups that yeah. make sure that the windshield is still, still protected. And you have to have at least three people here just to put it on. The windshield installer. All right, let's go find the metal for your car. We're gonna bulletproof the Lamborghini. Okay, so we've just picked out the thickness of the ballistics glass that we're gonna put into the Lamborghini. How long would it take to get this like R&D'd out? If we're talking just glass, yes. I would say about a couple months just so that we can get the right measurements of the glass. A couple of months. While that is getting done, yeah. we can tear out the interior and actually fit in all the metal. Yeah. So you're looking at, I'd say approximately like half a year just to get the full thing done completely. Half a year. Get in on it. Get in. Oh. Uh, you got any pre-workout? Yeah, I think I have some inside. Get some. Yeah. Get in on that bicep, Dave. Oh, the right. For real though, imagine this. Like, look at the difference. Yeah. Can you even believe that? No. How much heavier would this be? How many? Just the glass? How many, like a thousand pounds? Yeah. A thousand pounds? <laughs> Let's show you what the ballistic steel will look like for the door panels and all of like under the car where the carpet uh, currently sits and all that. I'll be right back. Dave, yep. minus the hole, here's your new door panels. So we're going to replace this carbon fiber door panel right here, guys. Listen to this. Dave's new door panels. I can't even hold that out for very long. So look at that. We're building the bulletproof Lambo right here, Dave. So you guys, now you know what it would take. Six months tear down to R&D all the parts. Custom made windshield glass, custom made rear glass, probably some sort of a ballistics level steel rear louvered window, ordering all the glass would be ridiculous. So you guys need to comment below, should Dave, for his own protection, and mine when I'm a co-pilot, armor the Lamborghini? How much is this roughly gonna cost us? Starting probably on 50K US. Oh, oh. What? Dave, start just your 50K. sales pitch. I thought we were friends, bro. That's just starting, bro. Audience, if we don't do the Squadra, what if, hear me out, we buy back my old guy that's already written off, and have you guys rebuild it armor? Down. Seriously. Buy back Dave's old manual Gallardo rebuild series while armoring it. Two, three, go! Adam, you've been an amazing host here at your business. Thank you so much. Thank you. For We're gonna check out some bulletproof tires. Sorry, what? No, no, thank you for coming. I'm like, it's my pleasure to have you guys come here. Dude, I can't believe how many of your employees even know who we are. Of course. <laughs> Fully armored S Class. Wow, those doors are heavy. So this is a V6 model S-Class. This is the European spec S500. So what's the on here? This is wet. Holy! <laughs> Considering what this thing weighs, that's crazy. And you still hear nothing, right? No, no rattles, no nothing. That's as far as the window goes down. Yep. That's it. How do I shoot back at the bad guys? I want to shoot back at them. They're shooting at me, I want to fight back. What a coward. You hire a security guard in another armored car. Yeah. All right, that works. Adam, thank you so much for the tour. Uh, armor Dave's car. He has so many enemies, he's only going to make more as he gets more famous. You know Don't even talk to me. You're below my level. Hey, thank you. No problem, man. Fix the car. He ripped on it. Yes. And it wouldn't come back on. We're going to go get the cars detailed right now because they're disgusting. They are disgusting. It's been pouring. It's been pouring rain. Muddy, gross. But now it's nice, so let's go. Oh, it's so clean. Thanks, guys. Kill you. Time. Thank you.
What'd you do? You wrecked my you wrecked my radio. Somehow you managed to create your own special private group. So no one can hear you but you. <laughs> and you love it. <laughs> Audi R8 GT with all the dry carbon. Only 300 in the world. Only made in 2012. I know a lot about this car. <laughs> Liberty Walk. Yeah, Liberty Walk Aventador. Why is he repeating me? This thing's a beast. Any bets you wreck your front splitter this year too? 100%. 100%. So the car is actually gold, and then this is actually all a wrap decal over top. So you guys, this car was taken apart piece by piece and painted. The whole car never saw a spray booth. It was all the parts taken off the car and painted separately. For Done. Real? Five guys every day. This is it. This is the pre-me, the 2019 Ace Spade Rally. Looking forward to meeting as many of the DD fam as possible. What up, guys? What's up, guys? So welcome. Yeah. I have no markers on me. I gave you a marker game. I lost it. That's everything. what I do. I break things. You can be Toronto. Crazy. 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 Let's go before Dave gets arrested.